Well, Bill, whether you're starting a completely new renovation or trying to manage a pasture that looks really good like the one we're standing in, what's the first thing we should do? Well, see, the first thing you got to do is take a soil test. You can't just look at the soil and tell whether it's fit for planting a pasture or not. And it's a, it's a great investment uh, for your renovation. I've seen a lot of people spend money without taking a soil test and they regret it later on. Well, that's a good point, Bill. In fact, we could do everything perfectly on our pasture, and if the conditions in our soil aren't just right for maximizing our growth and development of these pasture grasses, we could really be hurting ourselves in the long run. That's right, Steve. It's one step you don't want to skip. I can't tell you how many times I've been out and people have put the money into seeding and uh, putting lime down or not putting lime down and their pasture fails. You've got to make sure you take the time to do the soil test first. Well, that's a real good point, Bill. In fact, we often call it the best $15 you'll ever spend on your farm. And it's funny that this is one of the lowest cost things that we're all, we'll ever do on our pasture or on our field. And it's one of the things that most folks often neglect to do. And it all starts with the soil. True, and the other thing to keep in mind too is that you're being an environmental steward by taking a soil test. You're not putting nutrients that aren't needed down on your pasture that could run off. So you're actually helping to protect the environment and water quality by taking a soil sample. That's a good point. It also maximizes the productivity of your pastures so horses can enjoy the lush green grasses as you see here in this pasture. Well, Bill, how are we going to start taking the soil sample? Well, what I have here is I have a soil probe, but if you don't have a soil probe, you can use a garden spade or a shovel. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk across the pasture, take little samples of the soil, mix them together in a bucket, and have an analysis run on it. Once again, if you don't have one of these probes, you can do it with a simple garden spade. Yeah, that's true, Steve. This is a little bit of a high-tech version, but this makes it pretty easy. I'm not putting that much of an area of disturbance with just the area of this core. And it's quite simple. All I do is take my foot, Push down, pull it out, about to four inch depth, I have a first sample for the composite. Okay, and we're simply going to mix that in a bucket and uh, take the sample from there. Well, Bill, it seems like that's one of the best things we could do and probably one of the cheapest inputs we're going to put into our farm. As you all know, it costs lots of money for fertilizer and, and seed and everything like that. So this is probably one of the most affordable things we're going to ever do on our pasture and one of the best management tools that we can possibly do. In fact, we can't make recommendations on what you need to fertilize your, your pasture without having a soil test kit and a soil test results for us to look over. So it's really, really important. So what do you say we go out and take a soil sample in this field? Okay, let's go. Again, we took 10 to 15 cores as we walked through and now we're gonna prepare the sample to send it to the laboratory. All right, Steve, we got all our samples now. Well, Bill, we took our cores. Um, we have, if you see, we have a bucket full of soil. What's our next step we do? Well, we got to get the sample ready to go over to the laboratory. Uh, so we're going to have to break up the sample, mix it up, and dry it out a little bit. OK, so it's important to make sure that, that we pull any debris out of here. As you can see, we have some, some weeds and a couple of twigs. So we want to make sure that those are pulled out so we don't skew our sample. We're on our way to the Rutgers Soil Testing Laboratory where Dr. Stephanie Murphy is going to run our soil analysis for us. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Bill. Thanks. Hi, Stephanie. Personal delivery. Huh? Stephanie, now that our soil sample has arrived at the lab, can you give us a, a quick overview of the process that's going to happen to that soil sample now that it's here? Yeah, we'll take this soil sample and dry it, and we'll extract the soil nutrients from it. Uh, and measure how appropriate they are for the plants that you're growing. We'll also do a test for soil pH to see if the pH is appropriate for that plant. And then we'll provide a, a soil test report, which looks something like this, which will give your results and interpretation of the results, and also we'll provide you recommendations for optimizing the soil conditions for what you're growing. This report will go not only to your client, but you, one copy will also come to your county uh, so that you can uh, customize the recommendations for that situation. As you can see, getting a soil test is a fairly easy process. You can either stop by your county extension office or visit the NJAES website to get a form to fill out to submit your soil sample. And then you're going to be on the road to a better pasture.